Hi guys, my name's Dan and this is how to fix an E92 M3 uh, when you've overfilled the engine oil. Now I didn't actually overfill my oil, my car went in for a service and then the garage overfilled it. Unbeknown to me I didn't know how much oil was actually in the car um, as it doesn't tell you and no reason why BMW should have created this engine without a dipstick. It makes no sense. However, these are the tools you're going to need. You're going to need a 36mm socket. You're going to need a rag to catch all this dirty oil. Uh, you're going to need an empty container for the excess oil. A uh, torque wrench or socket set, something that you can do to 25 newton meters of torque. A uh, siphon pump to extract the oil. And that's all you're going to need for tools. So let's crack on. First of all, what you want to do is just put your rags down, make sure you're not going to put oil all over your engine bay. I know a lot of you guys, like myself, like to keep your car engine bays quite clean. So just a bit of caution when it's doing this. Note that the car has been running, so the oil is going to be slightly warm, if not hot. Um, so you might want to just uh, be careful when handling the, uh, the oil filter. So crack off the oil filter housing. It's fairly easy to do, you just pop the 36mm socket on top. And you get to a point where you can do it by hand. Like I say, I'm a bit of a freak when it comes to keeping my engine bay clean. Always handy to have a second pair of hands in doing this. It saves putting oil everywhere, like you'll see. pull the filter straight out however when you do pull it out realize that there will be oil in the filter it might be enough for you just to remove the filter oil off the filter itself if you drain that out and then use a siphon and siphon the rested oil in the bottom of the oil filter housing back into the empty container that you should have seen at the beginning of this video You should be able to get about 200 milliliters to 250, maybe 300 out of that can. So pop it back in, wipe up any excess oil, clean up, and then pop the housing back on top. Be sure to twist left first so you don't thread the thing, uh, and then twist right to tighten. Now you need to tighten this up to 25 newton two meters of torque, which is just over hand strength. So it's not it's not a lot to be honest. It's plastic, but whenever doing anything like this on a BMW, make sure you use a torque wrench. Click once, click twice, click three times. Done. That's it. Shut the bonnet, start the engine up, and wait for the oil to get back to temperature. Once the oil reading goes good, there you go. And it should go good on the iDrive as well. Engine oil level okay. If your engine oil level still isn't okay at this point, you need to start this sequence again from the beginning. So uh, scoot back to the beginning of the video and do the entire process again. My engine was overfilled by a litre and a half of oil. Like I say, I didn't fill this up. The garage did this. Uh, note self in future. If you want a job doing, do it yourself. Cheers guys, thanks a lot, hope that helps.